What's up, motherfuckers? So, if you don't know, I'm the Zach Mamba, aka Zach Bemba. Um, I'm new to this vlogging thing. I've always wanted to vlog. Like, I'm into YouTube, I'm into Vine. I watch The Shade Tars, Boyfriend vs. Girlfriend, Timothy Dale Laghetto, my boy T Pendant. But yeah, I've always been into this whole vlogging thing, and I don't know why I just decided, hey, let me start it while I'm in the middle of the airport. As you can see, I'm about to board this plane, waiting for them to call my zone, zone, zone two. Shout out zone two. Yeah, I swear, I've been on so many flights throughout my life in other states, been to other countries. Ooh, zone two, what's up? But I've been to other countries and stuff, and every flight, everything I've flown, like, never had delays in my life, but the one time I fly Delta, these motherfuckers want to delay everything. I mean, to Philadelphia, I had a delay. Leaving Philadelphia, I had a delay. But, I don't know, hopefully I can get back to Florida on time. Because it's New Year's Eve, and you know I'm finna turn up. You know I'm finna turn up. But, yeah. I mean, I'll catch y'all later, because I'm, uh, I'm about to board this plane. We just boarded. And, as you can see, I got the whole road to myself, as you know. Since I'm a big Vine celebrity. I'm about to be a big YouTuber. They pay for your, your plane tickets and they make sure you get a whole road to yourself. Nah, I'm just kidding. But oh, that'd be sick as fuck if I could get the whole road to myself. Shit, I wish. But yeah, I always get the window seat. That's kind of the way I prefer it, but not really because you know when you get out, when the plane lands and you get out and everybody take a sweet ass time, like, you're like, yo, motherfucker, get out. I'm like, I'm trying to go. I got places to be, people to see. You know? But one day maybe I'll get the house. I'm just not lucky enough yet. Guys, I got some amazing news. I know I said I wasn't a big celebrity yet, but apparently I am because look, I got the whole row to myself just like how I wanted. Nah, I mean, that's just the life of the Zach Mamba. All these delays I've had and all this bullshit I've had to go through, this is the least they could do is give me a whole row to myself. So you already know. I'm a kickback uh, and relax and enjoy this flight. I don't know about y'all, but I'm about to enjoy this flight. As you can see, I'm no longer in Pennsylvania no more. Back in sunny South Florida, it feels good because I couldn't deal with that cold no more. And for those who don't know, which y'all probably don't know because I don't even know when the fuck I'm posting this shit, but it is New Year's Day. So, happy New Year's to everybody. Me, myself, I don't really have no New Year's resolutions. All I want to do is fucking graduate already. I've been in school way too long, longer than I should be. And, I don't know, that's pretty much it. If y'all have any New Year's resolutions, I'd love to know. Even though I'm sure there's not that many motherfuckers even watching this vlog in the first place. But, yeah, right now I'm out here in uh, South Beach. Chilling with the beautiful people. Feels good. Feels good to be back home. Mad motherfuckers looking at me mad weird, but hey, that's, I guess that's what happens when you vlog. I gotta get used to all this. Hopefully I'm not cutting half my face off again like I did last time. So yeah, Pennsylvania, that shit was, at least coming back from Pennsylvania, that was, that was not fun at all. First of all, going to Pennsylvania, I flew, I flew Delta, and I never had problems with any other flight, but flying Delta, I had delays. Like going to Pennsylvania and coming back, I had delays. So, on my way back, first of all, I had my carry-on, which I've always used as a carry-on. The bitch tried to tell me that shit was too big and I had to check it in. So, that was already an issue as is. Then, my first flight going from Philadelphia to Atlanta, I had a delay and that delay caused me to miss my second flight. And once I got to Atlanta, I had to run like fucking Will Smith in Pursuit of Happiness from the terminal, well, from my terminal to the next terminal where I had to take off. So at this point, I'm already behind. Like I had plans, this is New Year's Eve, so I had plans to go out. And I was supposed to be back in Florida. I didn't get back to Florida till, till like 11 o'clock. So I already, I'm already late for shit, missing plans I'm supposed to have. And then on top of that, they lost my bag. So I didn't have my bag to go home. I had to take a taxi home. I had to spend like $67 on the motherfucking taxi. Taxi driver got mad that I ain't giving him a tip, but hey. It's rough times right now. We in a recession. At least I think we still are. I don't know. But yeah, it, it was not a fun experience at all. And then today I had to get my car back. This shit was rough. 
back from the airport, but it was pretty rough. So I've been waiting for this package for so long. These motherfucking shoes. I wanted for so long since I was a little kid. Cause if you don't know, I'm a big time Kobe Bryant fan. Like huge. Kobe is my favorite athlete of all time. And random little fact. Sean Taylor after that. Rest in peace, Sean Taylor. But Kobe is the reason why I like Adidas. Like this package, I've been waiting. I've been waiting for it. But Kobe, he's the reason I like Adidas. Um, excuse my messy room, but as you can see, there's a couple of blue boxes in there. A couple of black Adidas boxes in there, but huge Adidas fan. And these shoes are Kobe's first signature shoe. Been waiting for it. I ordered like they released on the, they released the day after Christmas, and I or I woke up early. Like I didn't think they'd be sold out because nobody really everyone fucks with Jordans. Like yeah, Jordans are great, but everyone has them, so like they lose originality. Like every, everyone has them. Everyone wears Nikes. Like that's why I also like Adidas so much because not that many people wear them. And it's like, I could have my own little style, wearing Adidas, my Adidas, no one else is really going to have them. Like, a few people here and there, but not too many people. And I didn't think they was going to be sold out, but I, I had to make sure. And I went on the website a few days after, and they didn't have them at all. I didn't see them in stores when I was in New York. And so maybe they did get sold out. So good thing I woke up at 8 o'clock and ordered them online. But I guess... Uh, I guess I'll show y'all a little sneak peek, a little sneak peek of, of the, they call them the crazy ones now, but they're really the Kobe's, but all right, that's all I'm going to give y'all because I, I can't show y'all too much, even though I, you could probably pause the video, but that's all I'm going to show y'all, but I'm super excited to have them, like the Kobe 9s are about to release and I really want those, but I don't know if I'm going to get them since I just got these. And I've been buying a lot of Nikes lately, even though I just told you like everyone has Nikes. But I gotta get back on my Adidas grind. So I'm happy to finally have these in my life. I don't know where I'm gonna wear them because I tend to buy shoes and it take forever to wear them. But I'm excited to have these. I'm real excited to have these. Well, how did you switch it up to the phone? Shit, I was making the final. Nah, it's, it's the vlog. You could be in it. <laughs> but uh, we out here, Orange Bowl. Now nah, we good. Uh, we got Clemson versus uh, Ohio State. Fuck both those teams. Hate Ohio State because they robbed the championship from us. And Clemson, I mean, that's an ACC rival right there. It's been a tough college football season for all me and my boys right here. I mean, Ryan, not so much. My boy Ryan, he's a Ducks fan. My boy Bobby, Gators fan, it's tough for them, and, and, and I'm a Canes fan, as you guys know, and it's been pretty tough. It was an awesome game, um, first bowl game I've ever been to, so I definitely would want to go back. And if I go in the future and it's an orange bowl game, I definitely want the Canes in it, because you know I'm a big Canes fan. But it was an awesome environment, despite not liking either team, like it was just cool seeing fans cheer for their teams and stuff like that. And it was also dope because I had a couple of followers out there that actually said what's up to me. And I love when my followers come and say what's up to me. I hate when people see me out and they tweet me, leave a comment online on Instagram and like, hey, I saw you, or were you here? Like, I saw you. I'm like, yo, why you ain't just saying nothing? Like, I'm, I'm just a regular guy. I'm not like Denzel Washington out here. Like, I don't have bodyguards. I'm not intimidating. Like, 
most of y'all motherfuckers probably bigger than me anyways. Like, I'm nothing to be intimidated about. And you're not distracting me or interrupting nothing. Like, come to say what's up. It's no biggie. I don't know. It's pretty late right now. So, I'm going to catch some sleep. And I'll catch y'all tomorrow. Like a gaming system. Been week, bro. I haven't played a gaming system in forever, ever, land, bro. Yo, so, who went in this game tonight? Like, I'm so bad right now. It's not even... We got young Lukey. In the love seat. Where's Philip? With young Bianca. Yeah, Luki and his beautiful girlfriend. Luki better win this tonight. Hey, why are you hitting on this girl, Zach? That's yeah. so crazy. Ah, oh, Zach, why are you messing him up? Because he's out of his game because he's hitting on his girl. Bro. Why should right there? Bro? Then we got my dog, Jay Gravy, in the building. Look, for, the, for all my followers, this is my roommate right here. Hey, man, put me on arm, man! And we got A Gravy in the building. Hey, you got warrants and shit. I gotta get close, bro. Hey, A Gravy hey. make the best hey. dances in the house. Hey. Hey. Make the house. Hey. hey! A Gravy make the best dances in bro, the house. Bro, that's my seat. Bro. And then there's A Gravy's little brother. Oh. He don't live here, but he's always see here. here. Exactly. So y'all gonna see him live. All of a sudden, that's not too close. Because I can't see. All of a sudden, it's not too close. This is what happens in the apartment. We play 2K all day. Bro, now I can't even try my And we argue all day. Why not? This is all that happens. But that's crazy, man. Tell me what happens to Phil every time he plays. Phil always gets smacked. That ain't true. That ain't true. It's because he ain't got a fresh air curve. Look at that, bro. What the fuck? Show him. Show him. Show him. Show him. Hey, but Luki fresh as fuck, though, right? Look at this, right? Look at this, nigga. Look at this. Luki fresh as fuck right now. But yeah, I just wanted to. And end the vlog on that footage, so I'll hit you. I'll hit y'all up on another night, a week from now. But yeah, this is the life of the Zap Mama.